Hey guys, before you watch this super awesome video presentation from yours truly, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Brian Solange, on Gab at Brian Solange, and on Instagram at Brian Solange. I've decided to step up my game. I will begin posting updates including heads up, sneak peeks, and reminders on all upcoming videos, live streams, and projects in addition to starting general conversations about whatever in order to better connect and interact with you guys, my equally awesome supporters. Because of course, without you, none of this would even be possible. Also don't forget to subscribe to me over on BitChute and my newest venture Brideon as well as friend me on Facebook. And be sure to check out my personal website at formmotion.com. Sign up and feel free to participate in or even start your own conversation thread about almost anything. Unless you're a feminist, we promise not to judge. If you want exclusive access to my archived and classic content along with sneak peeks of newer content including written blogs, short films, docu-commentaries, original poems, and more, be sure to sign up and become a valued patron of my work over at Patreon.com. Of course, if you want to show your individual support, you can always feel free to make a donation to my PayPal. Any little bit helps and your donations are always appreciated. And last, but certainly not least, be sure to sign up and subscribe to me on FS Avenger. Even if you don't like my content, sign up to FS Avenger. It's the first of its kind video sharing platform made, owned, and run by free thinking black men exclusively for free thinking black men. Nothing of this magnitude has ever been done quite like we do it over at FS. It is bold, daring, innovative, and most importantly, it's black. Thank you so much for your support and enjoy the video. Deuces. After Northern troops left the South in 1877, African Americans found themselves in near slavery conditions once again. Without land of their own, they were often reduced to sharecropping, working the land of their former masters in exchange for a share of the year's harvest. Former slave owners couldn't imagine the idea of bargaining on any kind of basis with former slaves. And they believed that the only way they could continue to grow cotton was to force African Americans to work. They had to find some kind of coercive mechanism. The sharecropping system basically allowed farm workers to trade their labor for crops. African American workers, they don't have tools, they can't supply themselves with seed and other equipment. This is supplied by the landowner and rather than being paid cash, they are paid a share of the crop. It was the economic structure of sharecropping that allowed near slavery conditions to continue on plantations. Each year you borrow money, and at the end of the year often you can't pay it back because the price of cotton is falling and what you get for your crop is not enough to actually pay off your debts. So instead of getting out of debt, they're falling further and further into debt each year. The only way for sharecroppers to pay back their debt was by providing another season of labor to the landowner. They were stuck in place. What it meant was that African-American laborers were tied down to certain geographical areas, and therefore they found it very hard to use their shares of the crop or other wages they might get to accumulate any resources and eventually purchase their own land. The system of sharecropping finally ended with the industrial boom of the Second World War, 
Large numbers of African Americans left the South for factory jobs in the North, leaving behind the farms they had toiled on for generations. Mr. President, I have a brother about 14 years old. A man hired him for me and I heard of him no more. He went and sold him to McGree and they has been working him in prison for 12 months. I asked him to let me have him, but he, he won't let him go. For a period of nearly 80 years, between the Civil War and World War II, black Southerners were no longer slaves, but they were not yet free. In one of the most shameful and little-known chapters of American history, generations of black Southerners were forced to labor against their will. From almost the first moment, white Southerners were responding to try to put African Americans back into a position as close to slavery as they possibly could. The Old South and what was quickly becoming the New South could not proceed without uh, the work of African Americans. But if you had something for free in the past, you don't necessarily want to pay for it now. It was a straight, simple, exploitative system. There was only power, there was only force, and there was only brutality. What happened in that period of time was so much more terrible than anything most Americans recognize or understand today. The depth of poverty, the inability of African Americans to access any of the mechanisms of wealth achievement and growth, they're all rooted in this terroristic kind of regime that, that existed in so many places. Their ability to have what we call the American dream. That is what has been stolen from black folks all through the South. And that legacy has to be understood so that people will be able to speak to it and give our ancestors voice. <laughs>